Hey, sorry I didn't see you there. Welcome to this episode of Tour on Tuesday. In this episode, I'm going I'm going through this. I'm going through my red setup. Me and two other friends will be going through our red setup to show you different styles of the red setup. You can set it up in many different ways, and I wanted to have my friends be on here with me, uh, uh, showing you their setup, and I'm gonna show you my setup. So uh, let's get into this week's Tour on Tuesday. Okay, so right now I'm in front of all the red, um, my little red setup here. First things first is this is the red camera. Um, I always keep a quick release plate here at the bottom of the camera. It just lives on this camera. I have plenty for anything else I would need. Um, what also lives on here is um, I'm blanking out on the name of this adapter up top. I'll uh, put it on the screen somewhere. That allows me to put the EVF cable in and be able to use my, my seven inch red monitor right here. Um, so I'm gonna attach this. And um, if you didn't know about RED, if you don't know about RED, it's a very, um, they're, they're very expensive cameras. Um, the reason people have them is it's very versatile. Um, a lot of Hollywood productions have filmed off this, and you can build it off to whatever you want it to. So I can make this camera as big as I want to or as small as I want to. I have a very small setup, and I have a few reasons why. Um, the first thing is, is the weight. Um, this already weighs a fair amount even without a lens and just a monitor on here. Um, you add in batteries and lenses, you know, it, it weighs a little bit much. And I also don't use a vest with my Steadicam or my, my, my Flycam for this matter. I just use it um, with the sticks. So, um, so that, that's, that's, that's the reason for my setup. So okay, I have the monitor on there. Um, the next thing I like to do is I like to put in my little red volt battery. This here is, um, I have eight of these. But this here's a red volt battery. It only has about 30 minutes of battery in there. The reason I put it in there is because I'll put one of these batteries soon um, on the back. If this battery runs out, I at least have 30 minutes to still record and find a new battery before, um, before this one goes out. So it's a little redundant. Um, and I obviously would, you know, the shot will be over. Or I'll have, um, an, uh, you know, uh, a camera assistant or something help me find that other battery. So, um, so that's where that is. The next thing I'm going to do is put on my lens. Um, this here is a very wide lens. This is a 14 millimeter, um, 2.8 14 millimeter here. Um, the reason I do that is I normally like to shoot a lot of nature, um, especially with this because the quality is so good. So, um, a wide angle really allows you to capture that nature, um, especially if I'm doing like a nice little pan in shot. Um, so right now I'm just going to get that and I'm going to lock it into place with the ring here. Okay. And then I'm going to get my big, this is my big Red Volt XL battery. This has about 90 minutes of, um, of charge in it. So I have more than two, but I just have two of them here. Um, so that right there is a basic red setup. The only thing I'm forgetting is the SD card. This here is the SD card that we use. This is 128 gigs. Um, and I'll put that here in the red slot, right, right there in the reader. And this is almost ready to go. The only thing I have to do is put it here on the fly cam and get that balanced. So let me get it on there and uh, we'll get going. Okay, right now I have the fly cam here next to the red and I'm gonna get the red onto the fly cam here. Now, um, I'm really used to doing a lot of run and gun type of um, film film work, where it's it's very fast paced, and um, which I like I like that style I, I really do. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock this in like that, and I just know from owning this camera and using this rig a lot that it being down here is just not gonna uh, work. So I'm gonna have to bring it up. I would almost bring it up all the way. Um, so that's good, for, at least for getting it somewhat balanced. Now that that's set up, I'm gonna get the case out of the way and show you how I balance this. It's not perfect, but it, it gets the job done. Okay, so right now here's the red setup, and the first thing I'm gonna do is making sure it's lined up with the weights. So right now it's not, um, and I'll actually like to, I'd rather go on this side here. So, so right now I'm just gonna try to line it up somewhat with the weights. That's about, that's about right. And then the next thing is the forward and back. Well, that's, that's, uh, I can go a little bit forward, a little more, 
little more forward. And right now, I should have a, like a C stand or something to hold this on, but uh, a little bit more forward. Okay, a little off to the, there we go. So that's about somewhat balanced right there. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. It takes a little bit to turn on. Um, so this right here, I'll hold it up. This right here, it, it's quite heavy actually as well. Sorry, this right here is the red setup that I use when I'm using my red for a good 80 to 90% of the time. This is, this, is what I'm, this is what I'm doing. I mean, different lens here and there, but basically this is the setup I use. Um, I really like this setup. Um, it, it's very easy to use um, for anybody. So um, I'm actually gonna film a few sample shots in this exact rig with this exact lens so you can see it and, and so you can kind of get a feel for, for the shots I would get with this. So um, I'm not gonna color correct it, I'm just gonna take it from the camera right into editing and uh, this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so that's what my red setup looks like when it's not color corrected, not full, just just the raw footage. Um, so you see a little bit of how it worked and, and what it looked like. So um, right now, um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of, a, of another video that, that Julian Jari shot about his red setup. I'll link the full video down in the description below. But um, Julian, let's see your setup. Hey everybody, my name is Julian Jari. I'm a filmmaker living not too far outside of New York City. And today I wanna take a minute to give you a little breakdown of my red Gemini, specifically for two upcoming trips, one to East Africa, and then another one to Central America. So let's first start with this monitor. This is the small HD Cine 7 monitor. This monitor allows me to control the camera through the monitor interface, which is beautiful and instant and really confident. The 1800 nits of brightness is insane that I can use this outside without a hood. Um, the picture is superb. It's got all the LUTs, all the waveforms, everything you would ever want in a monitor. So you can see the different setups that, that, that we have, that, that we use. Um, his setup is very much different than mine, but in some, some aspects it's kind of similar as well. Um, Let's go now over to Devin Supertramp to, to, to see what his setup looks like. His setup is very similar to mine, except his lenses are ridiculous, ridiculously awesome. And I love his setup as well, just because, you know, it's very similar. And that's kind of where um, I got the inspiration for my setup. So um, I'm not going to show his whole video, but I will link it down below. I'll just show kind of some highlights that I like from his video. So uh, Devin, let's, let's see your setup. But I'm going to be talking about the two red cameras that we use. Ta-da! Music chime in. And why we use these two cameras. Now this I'm going to say exactly what I know um, and what we do for our videos on our channel. I'm sure there's a lot of other gurus out there, red gurus especially, um, that are going to say this or that. 100% your opinion. This is my opinion on why we do what we do. Like wildlife, for something where you want to be really close, you don't want a really wide field of view. So that's why you would use the Super 35 millimeter sensor. So in these examples, once again, is strictly showing the field of view two red 8K cameras, but you can see, you can see a lot more as far as left to right with the Vista Vision sensor. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit here of this episode of Tour on Tuesday, and I'll see you next week, next Tuesday, for another tour. I'll see you next week.